Latin Trails is pleased to be bringing you this webinar today. We are here to talk about Amazon Cruises with Machu Picchu. And here to tell you more, to uh, start off our presentation, is Santiago. Welcome, Santiago. Hello, Lee. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, welcome, everyone, to this new webinar. Uh, we are going to be talking about the Catalaya Journey. There is a new product for Latin Trails. So, um, this is a wonderful choice for an Amazon cruise. As you can see here, the Catalaya was born in 2014 with the unique purpose of bringing comfort and satisfaction to the visitors who have the opportunity to engage in an excursion along the Amazon jungle. Without a doubt, this is one of the things that need to be experienced at least once in a lifetime. So as you can see here, this is a really brand new ship. So a special care has been focused on its operative details with the purpose to ensure its correct functionality. It is considered by far a first class boutique ship <coughs> along its four cabins. Uh, the Catalaya has a capacity for 10 passengers making the customer service very personalized for each one of the exclusive visitors. So, obviously, uh, I'm going to start talking about the social areas. Uh, as I told you before, this is an expeditionary first-class boutique ship that offers superior comfort, size, style, and stability. So, uh, it provides in each of its corners as the dining room uh, or the sand deck uh, rest and recreation. So obviously you can see from here a really nice view of the river. So it's a really nice dining room where you will find personalized service as I told you before and also uh, gourmet food. especially made for the guests. <coughs> this is the sand deck. This is another area that is really nice. So here you can obviously enjoy the view of the river as it is the exterior of the boat. Uh, you can relax here, have some fun. So uh, this is a really nice ship. But I'm going to talk about the cabins. All of them have uh, king-size beds, beds at bedside tables, air conditioning, mirrors, fine pillows, sheets and blankets uh, made in Peru. They also have uh, organic bathroom accessories, uh, finest quality bathrobes and towels. The electric current is for 110 and 220 volts. They have shower with hot water and safe deposit boxes and a minibar. So these are really nice uh, cabins that you can obviously find here. Uh, and now we have adapted uh, a, a, a cabin for as a double cabin for uh, more passengers. And I'm going to talk about the deck plans now. Uh, in the main deck, you will find uh, cabin one and two. In the upper deck, you will find cabin three and four, as well as the dining room and the bar. Also, uh, at the observation deck, you will find the outside lounge. That it's a really nice place. So, as I told you before, well, uh, this is an expeditionary vessel. And every journey in this ship shares a majestic experience on board, letting the travelers to experience the wonders of nature in the river, as well as the excursions in the Amazon rainforest. So obviously you will find uh, the way to uh, make a lot of expeditions around the Pacaya Samiria nat Natural Reserve. So. Uh, this Pacaya Samiria Natural Reserve is the only place in the world where tourists can share an intimate space 
with an array of jungle creatures within few inches of distance without fear or harassment. Among the activities you, that you can get on the itineraries, we can mention the following. Obviously, trekking, uh, fishing. This is a really nice activity, as you can see here. Uh, bear watching. So, uh, this activity is uh, made in the morning. So, you can watch the birds as they come out of their nests to feed from the uh, river's food and also you will find some of these uh, species around the Pacaesa Media uh, Natural Reserve. Cotingas, toucans, macaws, parrots, king vultures and uh, maybe the harpy eagle. And also a, another activity that is really important in this region is the, to visit uh, the local communities. So here you will uh, have an encounter with indigenous people. That is really important. And finally, <coughs> this is for the activities, right? Uh, during a marvelous sunset, you will get back on board to the comfort and modernity of the Catleya journey for a romantic dinner and a deserving rest. So, uh, to the next day you will continue, obviously, uh, completing the itinerary from this uh, marvelous journey. Okay, so the fauna of the region, uh, it's important to know that in the Pacaya Samiria National Reserve, you will find a lot of uh, endemic species because it's a protected natural area in Peru, and it is uh, right now only accessible by waterways. Okay. So, uh, it has a lot of biodiversity, and this area has more than 85 lakes and exuberant vegetation with a great variety of flora and fauna, and also uh, it has 130 species of mammals, such as the jaguar, uh, some wildcats, river wolves, capybaras and some species of monkeys, as you can see here. Um, and also, you will find a lot of uh, reptiles in this Amazon reserve. So, you can see here that the, the only access is uh, by the river, and also you will find uh, dolphins here. Okay. So, uh, I want to welcome you to the this Amazon rainforest uh, expedition on board the Catleya journey. That is the paradise where you can experience and explore the wonders and beauties of the world's most unique destination. That is the Amazon in Peru. So, if you want to find quality service, breathtaking views, and obviously uh, natural wonders, you have to get on board the Catleya journey. Also, when you travel on the Catleya journey, you are assured of spending time with exceptional tour guided uh, itineraries. And also, it's important to know that uh, there are two naturalist guides that are fluent in English, so this is really important for passengers. So, our guides share scientific and historical knowledge blended with insights and humorous tidbits gained through uh, years of interpreting the natural and cultural history of this remote special place, that is the Amazon jungle in Peru. So, uh, my colleague Daniel, that is <laughs> actually in Peru right now, is going to explain a little bit more about the the journey that the Catleya takes uh, on the route. So, uh, please, Daniel, can you explain uh, us a little bit of the itineraries and what itineraries do we have? Hello, Daniel. Oh, no, it looks like Daniel Dan Daniel's lost his internet connection. Okay, hopefully he's back oh, now. Okay. Hello? There I'm you here. Are. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, 
Please, can you tell us, uh, Daniel, uh, how many itineraries that we do we have, and what is the obviously the, the developing of these itineraries, please? Okay, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Daniel. Um, I'm talking about uh, the routes, the different routes. We have two, two different routes in uh, Pacaya Samiria Reserve. Okay, the first one, when your passengers arrive, they arrive uh, to the... Oh, no, I think uh, his internet connection. Iquitos Airport. Okay, Iquitos Airport, about from... Can you permission? Hello? Yeah, you can. Hello. Yeah, we, we can hear you. You just kind of keep cutting in and out there, so. Okay, uh, like I said before, um, when your passengers arrive, arrive to Iquitos uh, Airport. Iquitos Airport is about one hour and 30 minutes far from Nauta. Nauta is the port, okay? You start a trip in Nauta Port. Uh, Santiago. And then you have Marañón River. Uh, and Ucayali River are the two route, different routes in this trip. If your passenger only wants to stay four days, the route will be around Marañón River. If your passenger wants five days, the route will be about uh, around Ucayali River. And if your passenger wants both Marañón and Ucayali River, they can do that. It, it takes eight days, but they can do the, the full excursion. The complete experience is eight days, seven nights. So uh, in, in the route is different and doesn't repeat this, the same the same itinerary. They are different species in, in Marañón and Ucayali. Um, that 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 is um, the oh um, start on Wednesday. Okay, the the four day trip start all Wednesday of every, uh, of every week for all year. And the five days trip starts all Saturdays uh, for all weeks. Okay, Santiago, you have to you yeah. want to say um, something more? Well, yeah, just so we got two itineraries, mm -hmm. and now uh, Daniel is going to give uh, you a hint of uh, Machu Picchu, that's the Incan city that is a really well-known uh, attraction around the world. So, Daniel, can you explain? Yeah, us? Exactly about mm -hmm. the Machu Picchu is really nice. Uh -huh. Okay, Machu Picchu is the, like, you know, the new Seven Wonder. No. So, um, Machu Picchu is um, in Cusco, in the department of Cusco. How do you get, your passengers get there? Uh, you have to take a flight from your country to Lima first. And from Lima, uh, you have to spend uh, an hour and a, an hour and a uh, 30 minutes in a plane or 20 hours by bus. That is the two ways to get to Cusco. And then in Cusco, when you arrive in Cusco, you, you need four hour plus to go to get to Machu Picchu by train. The only way to get to Machu Picchu is by train or walking in the Inca Trail. Uh, Machu, Picchu, Machu Picchu means all peak or all mountain. It's the name of Machu Picchu. Um, Machu Picchu is made up of more than 150 buildings ranging from baths and houses to temples and sanctuaries. It's a um, very good experience for all the people who came here um, in the rainy season or, or wet season. Um, it's some different kind of views. Okay, You can see some, some rainbows uh, and for example if you stay at 6 a.m. in Machu Picchu you can uh, see the sunrise. There is an amazing experience. But Machu Picchu now it's um, more um, have more control for authorities in Peru. So if you have if you want to book, please book in advance. Everything book in advance because Machu Picchu has only um, two uh, two thousand and five hundred persons each day. So it's crowd of people. The best recommendation that you can get to your passengers is to stay one night in Aguascalientes town because um, you have you want uh, to stay um, at 6 a.m. in Machu Picchu when when Machu Picchu is uh, empty, no? And you can enjoy this uh, beauty. 
The best recommendation for them is to stay one night in Aguascalientes town, who is the Machu Picchu town, and then the second day start the the walking around uh, when when is um, a, a bit, uh, is the better time of the day to see these ruins. You can walk around with the guide about two hours, and then you have three more hours or four four hours plus to um, walk all around the, the city. Uh, Machu Picchu has some mysteries. There is the only city of the Incas that um, 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 discovered for, by Hiram Bingham and not for a, a, Sp a Spanish conquest. So uh, Machu Picchu was a, is a is a Jew, is a gem in this part of the Amazon. Another another um, another important fact about Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is uh, is not higher than Cusco for for the altitude. So the passenger is more comfortable in Machu Picchu than in Cusco. It's another another tip for your passengers. Um, when your passengers um, uh, wants to um, go to Machu Picchu for Inca Trail, they can go for another entrance in Machu Picchu. But Inca Trail is crowd, so um, the government of Peru only uh, allowed 500 people every day for that trail, include guide, include porters, include tourists. So you have to book about around six months in advance. Yeah? It's a little bit uh, complicated, but we can do all the arrangement uh, that you need and your passengers need uh, with the uh, proper uh, with the proper comfort and everything that they need. Okay. So. Okay, this is another view. This is another another view. You have uh, maybe you are see the um, the best the best picture of Machu Picchu that is in the post of every place. No? Machu Picchu has many places where you can take different kind of pictures. It's a place for photographer for uh, people who likes nature who people who wants to add a new wonder in her li in their list for example it's a it's a very good experience and we invite all all of you and your passengers to know this uh, particular um, uh, wonder that we have here in Peru waiting for you okay thank you daniel so right now uh, we're going to continue with uh what latin trails uh is about. We are a DMC specialized in Galapagos and in Ecuador. So as you can see here, uh, this is uh, one of our top uh, products is a 16 passenger catamaran that is called the Seaman Journey. So uh, obviously with this uh, vessel you will have close encounters with nature, especially with the Galapagos turtles. And also you have uh, three to seven night programs that are attainable. Uh, you will be walking on <laughs> lava trails. Uh, this is really nice. As part of our strategy, we are always uh, trying to do a continuous maintenance to the yacht. So as you can see here, this uh, was an update that was made in 2014 in order to give uh, passengers comfort. So the walls were changed to colorful tones. Obviously the cushions, the bed sheets and the pillows uh, were obviously updated. So this ship has comfortable areas. As you can see, all the cabins have safety box. And this is a really spacious and nice ship. Uh, in order to cruise the Galapagos Islands, you have to understand that Galapagos is an iconic place where you can obviously relax and obviously discover nature uh, from Ecuador. So these are the exterior areas from the ship for tourists. Uh, this is really nice. Uh, it was updated last year as well for passengers comfort. 
and also it has a jacuzzi and some beds for relaxing. With these yachts you will uh, feel this sense of comfort and safety at the Galapagos Islands. You will fulfill all the itineraries that we obviously offer. So for any uh, questions that you may have, please uh, don't hesitate to to ask. Uh, right now is the time to to get you in and obviously uh, to answer the questions that, that uh, you have. So please, uh, Lee, can you open the question session to, to get questions from the Catleya, from Machu Picchu and also from Galapagos. Uh, obviously, Daniel is going to help us with the questions uh, regarding the, the Peruvian uh, products. Yes, absolutely. So, w since you were just on the Galapagos, there was a question here about how many guests you can hold on the, the Galapagos yacht. Uh, 16 passengers. Okay. <laughs> and do you have brochures available for these different areas? Yes, obviously. We got an online brochure that we can send to the clients. So, so you, ha you only have to ask and we will be sending you all the information that you, you require. Okay, great. Thank you. And we had an interesting question. Francisco actually asked it, but I just think it's such a great, or Francisco answered it, but I think it's such a great question that everybody oh, yeah, would be okay. interested in. Cool. It's for Danielle. It's, uh, it says, how many steps up do you have to um, climb in Machu Picchu? We saw that photo with the people climbing the stairs. How many are there? How many steps in Machu Picchu? Yes. Okay, uh, the steps are um, about 100 in a place, about uh, 50 in another place. Machu Picchu has a lot of place that you can walk. So if you want to visit, uh, for example, the higher place in Machu Picchu, you, you have to climb about uh, 50, uh, 70, 70 or 75 stairs. Okay, and if you want to down to the city, you have to uh, down about uh, 80, 80 or 70 stairs approximately. Okay, it's for every people who who wants to uh, because the stairs that you climb are not higher are uh, are steps short steps. Okay, and then it sounds like there are places where you can stop and rest as well, so it's not just straight up a lot of steps. Exactly, you can stop. Okay. Um, there's a question here about how long the flight is from Lima to Iquitos. Lima to Iquitos? Yes. Iquitos or Iquitos? Sorry. Iquitos. Iquitos. Ah, Lima to Iquitos, uh, the flight is one hour and 40 minutes. Okay, that's not bad. And, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you know, the um, Santiago, the um, Catlia uh -huh. is... Um, is a small ship. There's a question about whether there are any triple cabins, but I bet they're just all doubles, aren't they? Oh, we can adapt uh, a triple cabin, yeah. But okay. obviously, we, we sell matrimonial and twin cabins. But we, we can adapt one twin cabin for three passengers, no problem. Okay. And while we're on the Catlia, there's a question about Hello? the minibar. Is it stocked? Um, and if so, with, is it stocked with drinks and snacks and so forth that would be free or, or no? In where? In Catlia? Yes. In Catlia, you have all the stuff and the minibar are included. It's all included. So it's for free, yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. It's for free, yeah. All the stuff and the minibar, it's for free. Mm -hmm. Okay. And would you say that, um, well, this is a, a question about and of all the trips you talked about today, are they family friendly? So they would, would they be good for a family with children? Oh yes, of course. Uh, we always recommend uh, Galapagos and Peru for families. That's our one of our main markets uh, because yeah, these are family friendly expeditions that you can do in, in South America. There's no problem. No, no, you're not going to be forced to do an uh, well an extensive itinerary that will obviously uh, be uncomfortable for you. So mm -hmm. it's really amazing for families. Yes. Okay. Good. 
There was, uh, Daniel, there's a question about what a typical day is like on the boat in the Amazon. Um, could you describe what, what happens on, on any given day? Okay, of course. For example, um, the first day you have to wake up early because the species are around 6 a.m., 6 and a half a.m. Okay, uh, you start with a breakfast and then you are going by, uh, in the boat to see some monkeys or some uh, species around the river, around the, the jungle, on the same boat. Uh, and about two hours later, you came. Oh, no, we lost them. I see. <laughs> yeah, we lost him again. <laughs> Something is wrong with Peru today, but it's okay. Yeah. No worries. Do um, you have another question regarding Galapagos, Lee? No problem. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll um, come back to him if we can hear him again. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Um, there was a question here about whether you have a U.S. phone number. Yes. Ah, oh, but is you can you can vis visit our website uh, latintrails.com, mm -hmm. and there you will find the USA number. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Okay. Good. Yes. Thank you. And is there? Do you have a representative in North America? Do you have have any representation in the U.S. for agents who may want to to work with someone in the U.S. Well, by email we can recommend uh, a, a nice uh, tour operator that works with us. There's okay. no problem. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Well, uh, since Danielle, it looks like his internet has um, <laughs> dropped completely now. Um, let me just uh, turn it back over to you. Francisco's done just a wonderful job of answering so many of the questions that came in today. We could forward these other questions on Amazon uh, over to Danielle for some individual follow-up. So um, anything you'd like to share before we go, Santiago? Uh, sorry, I'm here now. Oh, you're oh back. yeah, Danielle is back. That's good. Yeah, yeah I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> About the trip, I promised to send you uh, the described itinerary uh, day by day, but oh, it's, yeah, uh, uh, it's, it's an amazing, an amazing, an amazing experience, okay? I do that. And it's an amazing feeling. You wake up early to see the species. You come back to have a lunch, a very good lunch, and then you uh, go out another time to see more species and come back for the night. And in the night, you have an excursion uh, when every lights are off, or an excursion in the darkness of the jungle. It's very, very good. It's very, very uh, nice for your passengers. It's a new experience. I promise to send you all the itineraries and in the few moments. <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, Santiago. So we'll turn it over to you for yeah. for final okay. thoughts then. Well, well, thank you everyone for obviously attending to the webinar. We are pretty excited about working with the Catleya journey. Uh, I want to tell you that our boss is over there right now <laughs> on board the Catleya. He wanted to to make a live streaming show showing you the the, the Catleya through our webcam, but uh, something happened with the connection in Peru. <laughs> it's okay, <Yeah>. but <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Uh, so we encourage you to visit uh, Galapagos and Peru with Latin trails. And thank you very much for attending to the webinar and uh, have a good day. My thanks as well. We appreciate all of you, and a special thanks to Santiago, Danielle, and also Francisco for being with us today. And with that, we'll say good day and conclude our webinar. Goodbye, everybody.